Hello and welcome, my name is Frank Fischer and in this video I would like to show you how you can use the Deep Code Visual Studio Code extension in Gitpod. So what is Gitpod? In short, it is a ready-to-code development environment for your GitHub or GitLab repos. As it is based on Visual Studio Code, it is familiar to use and we can even add Visual Studio Code extensions. There is a lot of goodness in this, which I cannot show you in this short video, but make sure to check it out. What we will do now is five simple steps. We have to download the extension, we start the Gitpod account, start an environment, install extension and use it. So first we have to download the extension file, the VSIX file, and I will show you two ways of doing this. The first way is the open VSX registration and we are about to be listed here and in the future you will find deep code as one of the extensions in this registry. The second version is we are also providing you the extension to download in our GitHub repository. So if you go to github.com decode AI VS code dash extension slash releases, you will find the latest release down here, the VSX file to download directly. I already did this, so I have it here and um, I'm prepared now for the next step to come. The next step is we need to set up our Gitpod account. So if you go to gitpod, gitpod.io, um, you find the login up here on the top right. If you don't have a gitpod account as of yet, it will drive you through the setup of the account procedure um, and then you have an account or if you have one, just log in and you should see something like this. So you're running, gitpods are listed here. So if you see something like this, you are set up, this step is done. The next step that we want to do is we want to start an environment. So I go to uh, my GitHub um, account. I go to my GitHub uh, repo that I have here, deep code vulnerable log viewer, my typical victim for things like that. And since I have installed Gitpod, I have a new button here. It's the Gitpod button on the right side here. So if I click on that Gitpod button, what happens is Gitpod starts up. It starts to uh, clone a Docker container and um, makes this Docker container facing to this repository that I was just on. You see it's initializing the workspace. Normally it takes a few seconds and then you are ready to go and ready to work. And this is real time, you see. Um, now I'm ready to go and ready to work with this environment. Um, the speed itself, in my perspective, is an argument for, for Gitpod. Okay, so now that we have the environment running, we need to install the extension. This is done is exactly as you do it in Visual Studio Code. So here you have the icon for the extensions um, on the left side here. If you click on it, let me make this a bit larger, you can find two ways of installing extensions. So extensions for the project only or extensions for all of my account. So what I do now is I take the VSX file that I just downloaded, I drag and drop it for the project and let it, let it drop. So what you see it's uploaded here. It's installing and since I already did this in the past and the permission is already gone, um, deep code starts right away um, and um, yeah, does the analysis. So if I now go to the file view and go on problems, I see deep code suggestions. And from here on, now I can use this. Um, if I click on it, it simply reacts as if Visual Studio Code is in here. So it's the same um, behavior that you expect from Visual Studio Code. So now we can use it in this environment. What I wanted to show you was how to download the extension, set up the Gitpod account, start the environment, install the extension, and finally use the extension. Thanks for watching, but now it's your turn. Go to deepcode.ai and check out what Deepcode can do for your code.